Hi, I'm a smoking elk, and today I'm cooking shakshuka on the Turos T1. I absolutely love shakshuka. It is a great alternative to a full English for me for, for a breakfast. It's filling, it's delicious, a little hint of spice in there. It's absolutely glorious. So I'm gonna show you today how I make my shakshuka. So I've got an array of ingredients here, got a few spices here, got onion, pepper, and garlic. So the first thing I'm gonna do is just get these finely diced. I want the pepper finely diced, I want the onion finely diced, and I want that garlic crushed. So let's crack on with that. That's our ingredients prepped. I've got the Turos T1 with the new wok attachment here. And I'm just gonna stick my pan on there, go in with a good glug of olive oil. And then what I wanna do is go in with the diced onion. So I'm gonna cook that down for probably around about five or six minutes. And then I'm gonna add in the red pepper, followed by the garlic, and then a couple of tablespoons of tomato puree and just cook that for another couple of minutes. So let's crack on and do that. So that's the veggies in there, nice and soft. Gonna go in with about a teaspoon of chilli powder. This is a fairly mild chilli powder. So around about a teaspoon of that. A teaspoon of cumin. And a teaspoon of paprika. That should do us. Another little bit of heat in there. Just a couple of pinches of cayenne pepper. And we're gonna go in with about half a teaspoon of salt. Now give that a good stir for about 30 seconds. Get the aroma of those spices it really hit you. It smells amazing already, but we don't want to burn the spices. So just literally 30 seconds like that. And then we're going to go in with two tins of chopped tomatoes, bring them up to the boil, get them blipping away, and then we come back and build the rest of the dish. Tomatoes have been blipping away now for six or seven minutes. If you want to reduce them further, you can do. I'm happy with this consistency now. So now what we want to do, crack our eggs into there. So you just want to make a nice little well, as much as you can, in there, and then just take your egg and just crack it into that well, like so. And again, I've got six eggs here. I'm going to get probably four or five eggs in there. And then we're going to cover it. You can put your lid on. I haven't got a lid, so I'm going to put some tin foil over it. And then while they're finishing off, I'm going to create the garnish. So I've got some parsley here that I'm going to roughly chop. We're going to sprinkle on some feta at the end. Got some bread here, of course, because we've got some toasted bread and butter. So once we take this off, I'm going to put the grill grate on. We're going to toast up some bread and butter, and then we're going to serve it up. It's going to be glorious. go. Glorious, glorious shakshuka. Garnish it with that parsley, with that feta. We just toasted some bread 
on the grill grate on the tour so this has all been cooked on there with ease with minimal charcoal and it looks incredible so I really hope you'll give this one a go. This is a great alternative to a full English. Um, this is probably one of the only veggie dishes you'll see me cook and absolutely really enjoy. So I'm a smoking elk. That's my shakshuka. Look at that. Beautiful. I'll see you next time.